Hi, I'm Dave with the Slackers, and you're watching AZ Productions on some strange cables channel, probably. Or maybe <laughs> online. Hopefully you have your clothes on. And whatever it is, I can't see you. and we're sitting here in with David Hilliard of the Slackers. Um, you guys uh, just released, well last year, you released the, the Great Rock City Swindle. Yes. Um, I know that recording material for you guys is, you know, with all the side projects and everything going on, plus, you know, once you release a record, when your label or whoever label you're working with is ready for it, uh, do you guys have any like new tunes you're trying out on the road right now, anything? Well, we actually got a new thing coming out on November 1st. It's called the radio, and it's coming out on Widowski.org. Okay. Yeah, we put out a lot of stuff ourselves. You know, we decided a, a bunch of years back that we don't want to wait around for Epitaph or the record labels to get it together because they'll only put out an album like every two or three years. And we have a lot more stuff. Than that. You know, we got hundreds of tunes. So yeah, we're putting out an album called the radio. It's got a whole bunch of covers. Some you might expect, some you might not. And it's coming out November first. So we like digital. CD. Nice. Your new release that you're coming out with is going to have a lot of covers on it. Uh, what's your favorite cover to play live? Uh, or if that's too hard, it is. No, I mean, I just, it's, it's, uh, of course, I do a plank. What was on the album again? Um, <laughs> well, what's the one you get the most response from? I mean, the two covers that we've been playing the most, we've been playing Attitude by the Misfits and Like a Virgin by Madonna, but we oh, them completely yeah. different than the original. Uh, the one, actually, my favorite is we do Elton John's I'm Still Standing, but we dissect it apart so much you wouldn't really recognize the song unless you knew some of the lyrics, and even then we've changed them so much, it's basically come in some way. That's, that's actually my favorite, I'm Still Standing is my favorite. Okay. It doesn't sound much like the original. It's, it's like the Wadevsky concept. This guy Tom, who had, runs Wadevsky, had this dream of the sl of Slackers Radio, which is us. You're listening to a radio station and all the songs are being played by the Slackers. So that's the inspiration for the, the Um I saw down on the merch table you guys are doing a USB thumb drive. Now. Yes. Um, how? What's the reception from people actually picking that up? Um, well, they seem to like it. Uh, it's basically a lot of stuff like rehearsal tapes, 
um, you know, old uh, live shows of the band from 1993. Um, yeah, it's a lot of stuff I had listened to. It was on cassette. I just had the cassettes, and you know, the cassettes are starting to get to the point where they're going to fall apart soon. So I was glad to. I just dumped them down to digital, you know, with modern technology. And, uh, you know, 70, 70 something songs on this first USB. I'm going to do five year intervals. So this is the first one is 91 to 96, and we're going to do about 96 to 2001. I'm just going to keep doing them as long as the band's together. Just make a bunch of volumes. So, and people like it because a lot of people don't have CD um, ports on their computers anymore. But a lot of people have USB, so it's a way to get, you know, the music out to people. And it doesn't make sense because it's such a small amount of people that want to hear our rehearsal tapes, you know, that, yeah. that, 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 that uh, you know, it doesn't make sense to print up a thousand CDs or something, you know, because it's, it's not effective. And so this is, you know, it's, it seems to be going really well with the USBs. No, I like it. I mean, it's, it's funny stuff, a lot of these tracks I don't remember at all. There's, there's songs we did at rehearsal once, and then for some reason we never played them again. Um, you know, the gig from 93, I didn't think I was in the band yet, and I'm listening to the show, and there I am. I actually thought I was going to be listening to a show before I was in the band, and it turns out I was in it. Nice. <laughs> so I had to push back my, my playing date in the slackers by a couple months, so I was like, wow. wow. <laughs> All right, the old brain's really fucked up these days. Huh? <laughs> No, I think I think the USB is a great, great uh, marketing tool. Because I mean, even now you can buy a vinyl records with a digital download. I mean, if other people would like to throw back with you know the water touch. Uh, yeah. So personally, I have to have everything. But that's that's the way we're going to do the wet uh, radio thing. Is so that you can get the digital download in the vinyl as part of a package. You can get the digital download in the CDs. You know, so it's you can pick which package you want. So so it's trying to be consumer. Everyone, as they would say, the economic. 